In a move to bring attention to racial inequality and police brutality, members of the St. Michael's men's basketball team took a knee during that anthem before a preseason game at UVM. It had an impact on our guys and has led to a lot of good discussions uh, among the team and uh, with the administration and there's been a lot of support and um, and learning that's gone on from this. Wednesday night was the home opener for the St. Mike's basketball teams. I wanted to support the players and coaches for taking a knee at the UVM game. The women's teams linked arms during the anthem with some fans behind them choosing to kneel. I just feel it's a, it's the wrong place to be doing it. Not everyone agrees that sports and protests mix when it includes the anthem. I don't disagree with what he's trying to to get across, but I don't think it belongs at the, the national anthem. In September, over 200 people took a knee at an event on the St. Michael's campus. This student, who served in the military, says he wouldn't kneel, but supports his fellow students' free speech. Personally, I don't support accomplishing that in that manner, and them taking a knee, I think there's better ways they could do it. I do support their right to do it, and I appreciate them utilizing their freedom of speech, because men and women have given their lives for that. Now we reached out to St. Michael's athletic department and the men's basketball team. They are not speaking with us on camera about this and they say they are working on crafting a written statement to give to us sometime next week. We're live in Colchester tonight. Renee Wonderlick, NBC5 News.